try and get some uh, some pe some people tagged up in here. Good evening, everybody. So, um, I got my mic set up. Uh, let me do a mic check. How it sound, everybody? Mic check. All right, that's what's up. Well, good evening and welcome to the show. Uh, another Map Store Live. Um, I don't do it as often as I like to, but I don't want to come back and do a live on superficial news. I want to, you know, talk about legitimate things. <clears throat> um, and apparently, there's always something to talk about. Um, there's always many things to discuss. And right now, the hot top. There's a couple of hot topics. All right. Um, the hot topic is this coronavirus that's going around the, the world, <clears throat> the country, the world. And um, we're told that we shouldn't really be concerned about things. And I believe that's a whole bunch of crap. And I've been saying it all along. I've been, um, my operators out of uh, Tuskegee Depot have, have um, expressed concern about covering up because they're seeing people cover up and um i just wanted to make it known and and i've and and tell the members that i support anybody who wants to wear their mask i've said it from day number one just don't make it where you only make it wearing your mask in one particular area on your route and and that's just um you know so we could avoid any anything to do with um biasness so getting right into it you know finally um they the transit authority had put some stuff out on the coronavirus and they put some things out on what they're going to be doing to disinfect the equipment now we heard about the trains and what they're going to do to disinfect the subways and and that's all good but you know we're, we're bus operators and we want to know what they're going to do for for the buses to make sure that we're safe on the buses so 
there is a um there is a, a order out there that we're gonna be disinfecting the equipment in the Department of Buses. Um, I'm particularly speaking about Map Store, the Transit Authority, TA Surface can tell you what they're doing in the Brooklyn Division, and it's probably something very similar. But in uh, Map Store, um, they're gonna be the the maintenance department, the cleaners is gonna be responsible for disinfecting. Um, Arctic buses and standard buses. Now, each cleaner is going to be responsible for six articulated buses within an eight hour period and nine standard 40 foot buses within an eight hour period. So that's what's happening. We're going to see how that developed. That's supposed to be happening where they do these disinfections every 72 hours. Again, if you have an issue with wearing a mask, you want to wear a mask, by all means, do so. You're not going to hear nothing but support from me. All right? Straight up support from me. If you get a problem on the road, have no fear. Make a phone call to your union. We're going to be out there on the road making it right. By any means necessary, even if we got a video, the superintendent or the dispatcher was giving you a problem. All right, so we're going to have your back. Don't worry about that. Um, Tony Utano, our president, he made a statement on wearing surgical masks. You could look on the web page for that. Um, the, the, the TW union president is going to be in support and and have meetings with the transit authority to make sure that they understand that that we're the ones that's out there and and whether um you like it or not whether it's part of the uniform or not we're going to do what we need to do to protect ourselves because we have to go home to our families and we don't want to bring nothing home to our families and make them sick all right this is this is this whole thing that's going on out here is a real threat i'm pretty sure everybody who's watching has seen the news it's a real threat um, we, of course, we don't want to, um, send off no false alarms, but the reality is that we got to go home to our families and we don't want to bring home no viruses to our families. So we must do everything in our power to protect. Now that means, um, we need to be using, um, whatever disinfection that we can use to, to wash our hands, use the bathroom, wash your hands, eat, wash your hands. Do every make sure you're just washing your hands. Very important. Um, the next thing I'm gonna go. By the way, this this live is not gonna be long. So if you got a few minutes, if you got 20 minutes, st stick around. I'm 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 getting right into it tonight. Um, assaults. All right. They're they're crazy right now. Everybody has seen what's going with what's on the news. Um, everybody's seen what's happening in East New York. Um. Assault, spitting assaults, people out here just think that they can do these things. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, the bus operators are starting to react. They're starting to, um, they're starting to react in a certain way that may be against transit policy. However, we're human beings at the end of the day. What, they, what, what the hell do they think is going to happen? I mean, if, if, if somebody's going to spit on you, strike you hit you i mean eventually we're going to strike back we're going to hit back we're going to spit back and that's just the reality M people may not like that reality people may say oh but we're professionals no but i'm a human being first so i'm telling you and i've had it i've had it i worked in the bronx i've carried weapons when i was on that bus you couldn't just come on my bus and and think you was going to lay your hand on me not without getting it all right. And I'm not no superhero, but that's the reality. The reality is I just wasn't going to sit there and be a punching bag. So don't think that people are just going to sit here and take it. People are tired of being assaulted. And that's just straight. No chaser. People don't want people are tired. He's tired of this nonsense. And the transit authority better get out here and react and, and understand that we the people out here on the first line out here with these people 
And either you protect us or we're going to protect ourselves. And that's just straight. No chaser. We're going to protect ourselves. So, um, speaking about assaults, there was, um, there was some social media chatter about an operating MTA bus, um, who, who got into a situation and it went to arbitration and the arbitrator ruled against the arbitrator negatively. And it's on the page now about supporting a, um, a GoFundMe to, to help the brother pay for an article 78. And I support that. Um, there may be some critics on what happened and how it happened, but at the end of the day, people, like I said, people are tired, people not really trying to get hit, assaulted, spit. They tired. We have to, Act as a union. When I say act as a union, as a membership, we have to stand by our brother. We have to stand by our sisters when it happens to them. I'm I'm a little sick, and I'm a little tired of of watching the social media pages, and watching that um, we're we're using the criteria as entertainment and posting it on and saying, "Yo, see what that guy did. See what that guy did." And oftentimes, and you got to hear me out on this, oftentimes we talk about, or, or it's been said, like, look at the NYPD union. Look how, like, no matter what, the NYPD union stand up for their member. Well, how about look at the NYPD membership? If there's a shooting, or if there's something, a wrongful shooting, anything that a NYPD officer do, you do not see another NYPD officer on social media talking about it. You don't see another NYPD officer putting down another officer. You know what they call that? That blue wall. So if we want to talk about the, the, the PBA president fighting for their members, let's talk about the members making sure that they have a, a blue wall of silence too and stand just as solidly behind the member that you're expecting the president to stand behind. Because when you put it on social media and then you start sharing it and sharing that, look what this dude did, yo, you just make it harder. You just make it difficult for everybody. And let me tell you something. Forget about the fact that maybe, forget about the fact that there's a right or there's a wrong. This could happen to somebody else. And once there's a negative decision, that that negative decision will impact anyone else in the future that it happens to. So we have to look out for now. We have to look out for the person, even if you don't think they was correct. You have to back them. This The person who might have been moved to do what they did was moved to do what they did because they saw everything that's been going on around this system for the last, who knows, 10 years, assaults, assaults, assault. We talk about we're going to do something about assaults, and yet again, we're assaulted again. They talk about we're going to do something about the fail. There's a reason why we don't we don't challenge the fail. So it's because of assaults, worrying about assaults. And now, just like you saw the other month where, where people was like F the fair, and they was hopping the, 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 the turnstiles, and they was creating things that they felt like they shouldn't pay the fare. And if we was to do anything to enforce that fare, we would probably be assaulted. So assaults, fare beating, all this stuff has really gotten out of hand. And it's I'm about walking the walk. I ain't about just talk. We can walk the walk. We can we we would set up coalitions together. And just check on people at the end of the line. You know, we, we started something like this. But, you know, it starts to get, you know, starts to die out. And then we just have to get together and do it again and take turns doing it. You know, we just got to protect each other. And we just got to keep it real to that fact. Um, Moving along. Moving along. And, and matter of fact, before I move along, I, I, I just... When we get on here and we tell... A story let's be honest about the story all right let's be honest there's people out here um just trying to the, 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 the talk narratives to get 
a story out here, insult people while they're telling the story, and then the whole story that they're talking about catches fire to the point where it's being shared all over the place, where now you got to take a back seat on it and, 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 and back yourself out of it because you know you didn't told a big old lie in the first place, and now this thing might come and hit you in the head. Let's, let's just be honest. That's all. Um, and, and, and like I said, man, you know, the news media, the people who are against the, against the, with the, with the bus operators doing, I mean, what the hell did you think our responses would be? You think we're just going to sit here and take it? What the hell do you think the response would be? All right. Now let's get into this other, other thing here. And, and that's, um, the, bu the bus bar redesigns. Now it's happened in Staten Island. It's happened. It's is 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 currently ha it's currently finishing up in the Bronx. It's starting out. They're starting to have meetings in Queens, and they're starting to have meetings in Brooklyn on bus bar redesigns. Now I want to tell you, talk to you about a coalition between the bus redesigns, congestive pricing, um, and ride shares and the RFP that they that 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 they're trying to create for people to bid on ride shares and omni now omni is the new pay new pay system um let's face it we we have a new war we're at war and we're at war on three different fronts all right and i'm gonna repeat them bus redesign congestive pricing and omni now let's go get into bus redesign they've been redesigning or, or, or attempting to redesign the bus system in order to make bus service a feeder service more to the train so they want to streamline the bus services speed up the buses by reducing bus stops get it into the train and and keep it moving that way right part of congestive pricing now when and for those of you who don't know what congestive pricing is it's a, it's a toll right or a form of tax if you will if you ride in into the congested part of the city they're going to charge you for for driving in that part of the city i'm not clear on if they're going to be charging us on the brooklyn bridge uh, or if they're going to be charging us on the queens um the, the 59th street bridge or the um or any of the free bridges i'm not clear if they're charging us on that but congested pricing has been designed to charge some type of fee for you to go below i think 60th street something like that and the the interest for me is one of my depots is right in the congestive pricing zone and that's michael j quill depot so that's something that we have to continue to work on and try see if i we can address some concessions over that to to, to make sure that our that our operators ain't paying so just in case i i am working on that i will be working on that to see if we can get something done about that but the congestive pricing, which is something that I, I didn't even support, right? But here we are. It's here. It passed. In the congestive pricing, there was also um, city council people and assembly people in the outer boroughs who also didn't support congestive pricing because it didn't address transportation deserts. And then all of a sudden, congestive pricing passed because it it address transportation deserts but nobody knew how the transportation deserts were being addressed until one day we saw a news article the news article and i think i said this on a short video before but the news article was something that was on the internet and it was one of my union reps al lurie i'm gonna get i want to shout that brother out because he sent it to me and that's when when the ball was really rolling i read the article and i was like wow this is crazy so they had so these ride shares and ride shares is like is is the Uber slash Lyft, right? And the congestive pricing, um, dedicated four million dollars to address transportation deserts. The transportation deserts are basically places where you, the 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 bus doesn't go, right? So they wanted to set they want to set up some ride shares, and um, have them operate anywhere from twelve a.m. to five a.m to address taking people from their house to a subway or well, it was initially a subway but 
I'll get into what what we've done so far about it. Now, um, we, we 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 set up a meeting with the Transit Authority, the NMTA headquarters, because this whole initiative is coming from MTA headquarters. And I got to tell you, from the meeting that we had, they don't even know what they're doing. They had no answers. They don't know how it's really going to work. They they was basically waiting for people to bid on the on the um on the on the ride shares. They want to ride. No, no, I'm sorry. They want to ride shares to bid on, I guess this this um four four point something million dollars in order to to service the the transportation deserts and come up with ideas on how they would run that system. So the the more questions we ask, the more I don't more question the more I don't knows that we got or we don't know. We're not sure. We're not there yet. They, 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 um, they take these, um, ride share companies and they put them on a point system and that's how they determine if they're going to win the contract or not win the contract. But our position is they shouldn't be winning no contract. It's our work anyway. So if you need to satisfy a transportation desert, then by all means, put a bus driver on a shuttle and we'll address the transportation deserts. Period. Point blank. Now, um, I mentioned bus redesigns. I mentioned congestive pricing. I want to also mention Omni. Now, the reason why I want to mention Omni is because that's the new pay system that's coming in New York City Transit. So everything that has to do with paying like currently is going to turn into um, one Metro New York. Cause I think that's what, that's what they call it. One Metro New York. So it's like a tap and go system. You could pay from your phone. You could pick you, you, you'll be able to pay with, with the card that has the little Bluetooth insignia or the internet insignia. And you could just tap and just keep it moving in these in within this one Metro New York, better known as Omni. They have the, they have an uh, MTA app for you to download to your phone, which has these ride shares in the app. So <clears throat> this is why I say we're on, we're at war on three different fronts: the bus des- redesigns, the congestive pricing, and the Omni. Because separately, you don't know you separately you don't know what's, what what it, what's what. You don't know that the ride shares are involved in that. But when you put them all together, you can see where the ride shares and things are coming from. And we've already, like I said, we met with the Transit Authority. We met with, met with MTA HQ. Um, the, pr- the, the president is doing what he needs to do to send um, letters to government officials to get um, help from them and, and, and stop this thing from happening because this is our work and we will defend our work. Um, we vote. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm, I've been already alerting and blasting um, the MTA on Twitter. I've been letting the government, our governmental friends, know what's going, <clears throat> what's going on. Let them know that this whole thing is nothing but a service reduction to their constituents. It's all interv- interwoven into an attack on local 100 work. But at the end, of, at the end of the day, we can't never really. Um, focus on the fact that it's our work. We have to f- talk about the fact that this is something that's affecting the the riding public, and it is affecting the riding public. It w- it's not a lie. They're going to reduce the service. People, they're going to put people out in the cold, have them transfer in the cold or whatever, just to to the to, to reduce mileage and things like that of the bus. All right. Um. That's all I'm going to report on 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 those things right now. Just know that there's a fight going on. You may be called upon. You got to get involved. This is our this is our livelihoods here. All right. Um. UAP. We're going to talk about UAP for a minute. UAP and work life services. Now, what UAP and work life services? What's been happening is you've been having you've been having um counselors who who are counseling our members, right? And then 
going with, with the MTA has been requiring to put for these members to be putting their, their I guess whom, whomever they got to get for counseling on speaker so they can so that so the MTA can know exactly what they what was going on it's, I, I I got wind of it um we filed complaints of course they was denying it was going on but um if you're in UAP for an alcohol issue or it and then you got to go into like a, a a counseling session and 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 they want you to go on speaker so the transit authority can can make sure that you're in a counseling session you give me a call give me a call i don't care what division you in give me a call we'll address that right away all right there's, there's, this 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 shouldn't be happening not 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 even not in the in in the lowest instance should this be happening not at all um i'm gonna close like i said i did say this was a short one um i will answer all your questions offline um chris lightborn i saw um director of member services i just want to give him a shout out um on in this public forum because there's a lot of things like like um, medical billing that I deal with at the depot, um, rehires, um, title restorations, a lot of stuff that he helps us out with when when new members come to us directly. We 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 deal with Chris Lightborn who deals with human resources. So I want to shout out Chris Lightborn. I want to shout y'all all out and um, be safe. I'll answer. I'll answer uh, um, any questions y'all have offline, but just know that we have a fight that has to be fought. All right, that is this congestive pricing nonsense with these with these ride shares. All right, we have to be involved with that. Stay tuned. I will be bringing you information as I get the information. All right. Um, we got lobby day coming up. We got in in, Manh in the Manhattan division. We have division meetings coming up on Tuesday. Come on through. Be safe, everybody.